You are compromising your own authentic city and giving away your power for what? Conditional love? Validation? If you act in a certain way that fit their standard, then you get the love. If not, then they will take it back because you no longer deserve it because you being real. So let's rather be disliked for who you are than be loved for who you are not. Why do you think you care so much about what other thinks of you? Do you ask yourself this question all day when you catch yourself once again feeling bothered by others' opinion? That is the reason why you click on this video. Before I answer your why, I want to get into your where. Where is this feeling coming from? Before you tell me that it's obviously come from others around who won't stop having opinions about you, let's think deeper. People will always have their opinions. It would be funny if we live in a world where everyone agrees with each other and there's only one way of thinking, don't you think? I'm not talking about wrong or right, just different opinions. But when the other person gives you negative feedback, you feel deeply hurt and decide to do what it takes to please the others. So how do we train ourselves to have such a thick wall where we don't let the other's opinion define who we are? First, I want you to acknowledge that this feeling comes from our own dramas, past experiences, and what we are programmed in our mind. Hi, my name is Delilah. Thanks for watching. No baby is born from their mother thinking, I'm not good enough. As we grow up, we are being affected by our surroundings. You might think being mocked in school is such a small deal, but a little kid or the little child in you, if this happened to you, look at it from a very different perspective. Or not having your parents around leave a feeling of abandonment when the child thinks he or she isn't worthy of love. This is the part when we start put on a mask and try to measure up to where we should be. We start to hide away our authentic self. Stop expressing our truth. If you continue chasing an image so that you can be accepted by others around you, so that they can praise you and give you the validation that you crave for, I'm sorry to break this down to you, honey, but you will never be happy and fulfilled. Instead, you will lose yourself and your freedom. You will end up in resentment because you will never be good enough. So what if someone doesn't like the way you dress, how you color your hair, or even how your voice sound? Imagine forcing yourself to dress differently, to speak softer, to change the hair color that you think others will approve more of you, and you will blend in like the rest of the people so they don't look at you differently. How long do you think that will last? This is my own experience, my true experience, believe me. If they treat you nicer based on what fit their standard, the outer appearances, do you think that they really like you for who you truly are? They like the person that you're getting into the character as, but deep inside, you are feeling trapped because you constantly have to keep up with the image for their conditional love until you can't take it anymore and decided to break free to show your authentic and true self. What do you think they will think now? They think that you've changed, that you no longer the person they thought you were. So then they stop respecting you and turn their back on you. Tell me, isn't this worse? You will end up being disapproved of anyways. So let's rather be disliked for who you are than be loved for who you are not. Also, please stop trying to dig into why and how can the other person not like you, your style, your authentic city. Like I mentioned, we all have different upbringings. You don't know what makes them insecure, how they project their thinking and expectation on you. For example, okay, it could be that someone they knew in their past dressed like the way you dress, like your style, speak like you, took their first love away or something like that. Hypothetically, they can't get over their own drama and the minute they encounter with you, they just already made up their mind about you, that they don't like you. That is not your problem. You are not responsible for other people's wounds, especially if they haven't worked on themselves. You instead bend over, head over heel, try to gain their love and approval. 
who do you think will end up hurt in this situation? You are compromising your own authentic city and giving away your power for what? Conditional love? Validation? If you act in a certain way that fit their standard, then you get the love. If not, then they will take it back because you no longer deserve it. Because you being real? Is that sound anyway healthy to you? Is that the type of love that you want to gain? What are you chasing for? A touch of external validation? This is why you don't feel good enough. Because chasing approval is a never-ending journey. Don't get me wrong. It's okay to let others have their opinions. You can pick which opinion will add to your growth. It doesn't mean that you blindly follow everything others tell you. In the end of the day, you are all that you got. This is your life and you should be the person who control it. They are not you. Why would you give someone the permission to decide how your life should be? You know what you need and you take in the advice that is needed. If you don't fit their standard, who cares? You are enough. Do you like yourself? Do you trust yourself? Then let yourself have the freedom to be you. You have the power to define and recognize your own value. You don't need to go around making everyone else happy. Make yourself happy first. Do you know how many others who experience the same thing? And just by you being you, without seeking for any outer validation, you can inspire them to be themselves, confident and unapologetic. You have the power to shape your own life, allowing yourself to just be, living your best freedom, mindset, and authentic city. You will continue to grow and be so happy and not care. They will eventually recognize that they are being unreasonable for having expectation over you. And if they don't, that's not your problem. They have healing to do. Let's have some practice to overcome this. I've struggled with this in the past and what I shared today is very passionate because it's my own experiences. This is what I did to heal this part of me. Remember, working on ourselves is a process that will take time and commitment. We can choose to be whoever we want to be, but first, you need to acknowledge and write down your previous belief system. This is very important. I came across an influencer who said that writing down negative emotion is not a good way to fix things because our brain is connected to our handwriting. I strongly disagree. How would you know what problem you have if you don't admit it to begin with and release your negative belief so that you can catch yourself next time your mind circling back to the old pattern. Journaling should be a tool for all, not just to write down positive affirmations. Although it's nice to have positive affirmations. For example, I am not good enough because my aunt disapproves of the way I dress. Even when I feel glamorous in a tight, low-cut dress, it shows too much skin and I look bad in her eyes. If I dress in pants and cover up, she will like me more. Or I want to post this picture, but I bet everyone will make fun of me because I'm wearing red lipstick. Someone told me in the past to never wear red lipstick. It doesn't suit me. Or, I want to open a YouTube channel and share a positive message with others, but my voice is so loud and I'm cringy. A friend said, I'm not ladylike enough. I can feel that people will judge me when I open my mouth. You will start crossing them out, okay? After you write out all these affirmations and you will write new affirmation next to them. I like this dress and I will put it on me. My aunt doesn't have to like it and that's okay. I like it and that's all that matters. I have the right to dress how I like as long as it's not inappropriate or harming anyone. I like red lipstick on me and I know I look good in it. I'm not going to let a past opinion define my style. Who knows why they don't think it suit me? That's on them. 
third one, I am expressive and my focus of opening the YouTube channel is to share my message. I am unique and there's only one of me. There's only one voice is my voice. I am speaking truth and I am being authentic. I am allowing myself to be me and be free. No one can make me feel less than myself. Reread them and see how they change the way you think. Repeat them as many times as you can. The last step is to write a letter to yourself. Let you know what you love and appreciate about you. You are all you got. Speak to yourself in front of the mirror, high-fiving yourself. Give yourself eye contact. There's a saying that say the eyes are window to the soul. It is so accurate. If you can't even look at yourself in the eyes, you will not have the courage to stop listening to others. The more we know ourselves, the harder we are to be controlled by others' opinions. Today, I am sharing this because I would never imagine myself speaking like this. Let alone making funny skits. Just watch all my shorts without worrying that I will look like a fool in others' eyes because I know myself. I accept myself fully and I will not stop growing on this self-development journey just because I have some thumbs down and negative opinion. So should you. Alright, that's all I have for today. If you like what I share, please show your support by giving me a like and subscribe. Comment and let me know what you think of the video. Share your thoughts, your own experiences and perspective with me. Let me know what you want to listen to next. Last but not least, please spread the love by sharing the video to those in need for a boost of confidence and how to not give an F about other people's opinion to stay with your authentic city. Sending you so much love and great energy. I love you guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.